Hey guys! First day of spring today. Well, if you're in Australia anyway. So it's very beautiful weather and yesterday. So things will be warming up so we can actually get some vitamin D down here in Melbourne. And um, I just want to make a quick like public service announcement. Never before have I seen so many people so hurt, hurting, anxious, depressed, um, yeah, suicidal, just unable to cope and just breaking down. Now, um, a lot of people will post those posts like, if you care about someone or if they're depressed, please copy and repost. Um, and it's just like, those don't help people. Like, it's like a sign at a bus stop that says, I care, you know, like, it's like just cyber caring, you know, and I just feel that it's so fake and empty. Like, we all know somebody who's struggling, like, even when it's not a pandemic, but at this time in the world, everyone is struggling. So it's a, a really great time to reach out to people that we know are struggling, that um, we know might need some positive encouragement or some understanding or someone to listen to them, just anything that will help someone. So like I said, like, reposting these posts about caring about people i believe is absolutely useless so if you really do care about someone reach out to the people that you know need a hand you know post something funny on facebook something like that so i just feel like at this point in time i've never seen so many people um, especially in melbourne and australia struggling more than ever just desperate for help so yeah i just wanted to quickly say that i didn't want to make this whole reading a massive um down but it is really important that um yeah we do understand that there's just so many people struggling at this point in time now at the moment we have the moon at um, 29 degrees of gemini and yeah within a few hours it will be in cancer so that means the next few days are going to be quite emotional we're going to be thinking about things on the home front we're going to be really paying attention to our emotions and i definitely believe that this is a great time to be listening to our emotions and not ignoring them um because we also have Mars that's going to be opposite Neptune and this is bringing up that spiritual warrior and we all need to be getting in touch with that spiritual warrior and you know like fighting for what's right fighting for our home fighting for our lands or fighting for you know humanity in some kind of way as things are just getting more and more tyrannical like even today for Victoria it's like if 70% of people get the thing then on the 29th of September, they'll finally be um, able to go 10 kilometers from their home and be and able to exercise for three hours. And it's just like, really? Like, I'm sorry, but that's not good enough, you know? Like, it's just, it's just disgusting, to be honest. So um, there is a world rally protest on the 18th of September. And yeah, I just hope that everybody as, you know, as human beings all over the world come together and um, join together for our own human rights, you know, regardless of what side of the fence you're on, whether you're pro or not on this situation, um, the tri tyrannical aspects of what's going on is just yeah absolutely disgusting um but anywho let's get to the reading now today i need to do a card reading for jane she's from minnesota in america so um i think her name's jane burns so yeah jane after this collective reading i'll do one for you Alrighty, so we've got um Stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before a miracle occurs. We've got remembrance, resurfing of past feelings and emotions. We've got sacred fool. And we've got reflect and redirect your energy. All right, dear. so from the top, stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit before a miracle occurs. 
Exactly. And I know at the moment, like, especially in Australia, everybody is just like, very hopeless like just like nobody can help us we can't help ourselves what do we do things just seem to be getting worse and worse and worse like we're in this collective pressure cooker and i know that everybody's experiencing this everywhere i know it's not just for people in australia or melbourne um but yeah all of us are in a massive massive pressure cooker at the moment it's just it's like issue after issue just piled on top of each other of our most extreme fears if that makes sense so I know for myself you know like I've had to have like the most extreme things the most biggest fears I've ever had just pile up on top of each other and I think we're all kind of going through this so we understand how strong we are and how we don't need to have fear about those things so I just I just want everyone to know just to stay optimistic like there is hope like just to have hope in humanity have hope in you know who we are and what's right and just don't stop believing and this can be anything this can be a relationship situation for you this can be work this can be your home this can be your family it can be friends whatever it is but just stay optimistic wherever you're losing hope right now don't lose hope stay optimistic so I don't know if you can see but there's like a mermaid and then there's someone in the background so it's just like just stay hopeful what you're wanting is coming now um, we've also got remembrance so resurfing of past feelings and emotions now with cancer um, with the moon going into cancer for the next couple of days it's definitely going to be about resurfacing past um, feelings and emotions now this can be from childhood it can be from a past relationship it can be from a time where you felt repressed and oppressed in you know past situations it could be even past life feelings whatever it is but you know we're all going to be feeling some kind of old feelings coming up some kind of remembrance of struggle and this is the best time to heal that and release that and maybe do something about it. Maybe if you were really oppressed in, you know, a situation in your past, this is the time to free yourself in whatever situation you're dealing with right now. So I don't specifically know what situation you're dealing with, but yeah, just understand that I feel like definitely with this moon going through cancer for the next few days, we are going to feel a lot more. Um, I feel like everybody's been a little bit, emotionally disconnected which I feel like we've needed to be um, because what we're all dealing with like we had a lot of um because we are moving into the age of Aquarius right so and then we had that um, Saturn Jupiter conjunction in Aquarius so this kind of marked and set like the tone for this time of like this disconnect in a way this time of humanity and you know looking at unconditional love but then there's a shadow side which is too disconnected and too much the scientist and and not caring about other people which i feel like you know a lot of us are doing that right right now a lot of us are in survival mode where we've just completely shut off we're not caring about other people people are dying or getting sick or whatever it is and we're just completely numb to it and you know that's a survival mechanism it's not because people are shit it's just you know this is just the only way people are being able to process at the moment but i think it's going to be really good with the moon moving through cancer that we're all kind of going to be able to get in touch with our feelings we're going to connect with our land we're going to connect with our home we're going to connect with our family values and what's right um yeah morally you know so yes yeah, so that's that now we've also got sacred fool now this is about not caring what other people think that you doing what's right as a rebel as a warrior as um a trickster even you know like you doing what you know is morally right and not worrying about what anybody else thinks like yes we have society standards and everybody judges everybody and we're all worried about not fitting in and not fitting in the box but this is not a time for that this is a time for standing out and being your authentic self owning who you are owning your voice owning your authenticity owning every single thing about you that's different 
and standing up for what you believe in. And if that means you have to be that sacred fool or that sacred warrior, do that. And, you know, like maybe it might be sharing information. And the best way to do that might be memes or a joke. You know, that's been like a really great way of getting information out there um, the last few years is um, memes, you know, like because they're funny, but it makes people think. You know, so definitely stuff like that, like just being that sacred fool, like not caring about what other people think, you know, just doing what you know is right in your heart. And lastly, we have reflect and redirect your energy. Now, um, yes, a lot of us, we get our energy and our, ugh, our time wasted and our thinking power wasted in situations and things that are not serving us and at the moment like I've said in previous videos we have a huge elephant in the room there's it's very hard not to talk about what is going on collectively and out in the world and so on and so on and this is a time where we really need to be trying our best to redirect our energy on what we really want and you know this can even be relationships or something like that maybe it's work where we're focusing on something bad where we've lost something or something hasn't worked out or we've been uh, like rejected or something like that but don't focus on that like you're being redirected to something better like Oh, what was I doing? I was doing a reading the other day and this guy was telling me that this woman, the love of his life, like left him and like they weren't even together for very long, but she was perfect. And it's just like, and I tried to explain to him that when we lose something, we always automatically cherish it more and we think it has more value and it was perfect for us when it actually wasn't. And, you know, now there's labels like twin flames and things like that. And then people stay in these toxic beliefs and it's actually not even true. Like the sense of lack or loss just make people think that things are better than what they were. So if you've lost something recently or something like that, do not focus your energy on it. If it was meant to be in your life, if it was right for you, if it was good for you, it would be in your life, you know, and it would be a blessing and it would, you know what I mean, and be the best part of your life. But the fact that it's not there means that it's not. And it's not what you should be holding on to. It's not what you should be keeping yourself tied to. That something better will be coming for you. And I just hope that people do believe that. And it's like, you know, like all the spiritual coaches talk about is, you know, wherever energy goes... Wherever energy goes, energy flows or something like that. Um, but yeah, so whatever you're focusing on, you're going to get more of that. So if you're focusing on lack or betrayal or rejection or whatever it is, you're going to get more of it. So don't focus on that. Don't focus on all the trauma and all the crap that we're dealing with. Like we all know out in the world that it's just so hard to like trust anyone or any politicians or anything at the moment. Everything is just more lies on top of more lies on top of more lies. So don't get too down about the like the treachery and the corruption and all the crap that's going on. Get your energy right out of that and put it into something that you love, you know, like putting it into something that you're passionate about, what you're studying, your children, your friends, your, I don't know, something that you love doing. Because even if we are in lockdown, there is still something that we can all do that we're still passionate about. Um, but yes, that is it for me, guys. Now I've got to do, get a card for Jane. Now, Jane, I don't know what's going on with your situation. Um, but I'll just get a card for you anyway. Um, but yeah, Jane, I hope you're going well and things are good in, is it Minnesota in America? <laughs> Hopefully they're better than here. <laughs> okay, so we got that one and maybe I'll get one of these as well. Ooh. Now, um, I'm supposed to be doing a card for Megan, but Megan, I'll have to do one for you on Saturday. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. But yeah, I'm wondering how you're all going. Alrighty. Now, Jane, I don't know your situation. But I'm just going to tell you, 
We have Zen Garden, Inner Sanctuary. We have Divine Magic, Extra Magic Energy surrounds you and your situation right now. Expect miracles. And also we have Support is all around you. So just looking at all these cards, it just feels like you have so much support. You might not feel like you do. You might feel like you're alone or things aren't working for you or there is no magic. The magic is gone. I don't know. But just please know that there is so much magic supporting you. And I feel like, you know, when you can find peace, when you can find your Zen garden and you're in harmony and you're in peace, this is when those miracles are going to come along. Like we're all in like such an anxious fear state, lack state at the moment and then things feel even more hopeless. So I just feel like whatever you're wanting to bring about, when you get into alignment, when you get in peace is when the things that you're needing what you're really needing on a heart and soul level will come to you because you're in that state of belief. You're in that state of knowing and in, in love, you know, where everything is possible. So I hope that was really helpful for you. And um, yeah, I hope uh, that was yeah something that you needed to hear. But just for everyone, we're all divinely blessed. We really all are. And yeah. Um, Misty and Kavita, I'll have to do a reading for you um, on Saturday because I'm finishing up for this one for today. But um, yeah, that's about it for me, guys. And yeah, I'll see you on Saturday. And don't forget that um, the next few days are going to be a little bit emotional. You know, things are going to be a little bit sensitive. The moon's going to be moving through cancer. So don't get too upset about it. If, you know, some old feelings are resurfacing, you know, just send them off with love. Just feel them, understand them, and then let them go. It's not because you're moving backwards in life. It's just because these feelings are coming up because they just need to be heard and seen one more time. <laughs> Maybe a million more times. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'll see you on Saturday. Have a great Wednesday. Bye.